president has said that they'll no, starting on the 19th of January, they'll no longer conduct bail hearings in Waukee. And we don't know, I think it was for the foreseeable future. I don't think they've said any, any end date to it. So dividing our resources is huge. Generally, we have somebody, uh, if we have somebody that needs a bail hearing, we go down to Waukee for a bail hearing. Uh, quite often, we'll have officers that are already going to court and they'll transport. If so if those officers are still going to walk it in the court, we'll have to call out other people and call it an overtime to transport people from here over to Owen Sound by the courts for bails. And we still have to remain uh, some officers here to police the community. So it's big. Did you get any reason as to why this was happening? No. And it, as you can imagine, or at least I can guess, that there was some trigger that caused that to occur. Uh, but they had zero consultation with us on doing it, so we, we don't know what that trigger is. Do you think this is longer term towards moving judicial services out of Walker? Uh, I do, but I have nothing. Since there's zero consultation, I can speculate as much as I want because they didn't uh, talk with us one bit. Is that a surprise that there was no consultation in advance, or is that the way things have unfolded <laughs> with the judiciary? I have no, no background here. Uh, no. Is it a surprise that upper levels of government don't tell us what they're going to do before they do it? No, that's not a surprise.